everyone and welcome to this, the third meditation uh, from my new channel, Multitudes. Uh, now, if you haven't um, seen one of these videos before, I should tell you that each meditation uh, is a specially written piece of music um, that I then play uh, improvised live guitar to. But each meditation is preceded by, um, by a reading from one of my favourite books or from a book that I'm familiar with or from a book that I have, something relevant. Um, but today we're going to do something a little bit different because um, earlier today I was looking through a Facebook group that I'm a, I'm a member of which is the 40 and Times group. Um, 40 and Times being a magazine, I'll include a, a screenshot here of the magazine, the latest issue, which deals with weird stuff, strange phenomena, whatever you want to call it. Lots of interesting stuff. I've been a reader for many, 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 many years and there's a Facebook group. And in the Facebook group today, someone posted a story which was that, uh, that she was watching a TV programme um, about uh, a nature programme, but the particular section was saying how many stray balloons tend to, um, <laughs> tend to appear in nature somehow. Um, and so she was watching this segment on these balloons and she looked out of her window and lo and behold, there was a balloon in her garden. So I put a reply and I'll try again, I'll try and include a screenshot around about here. My reply was, that's an interesting synchronicity. And I sort of uh, left a very cryptic comment saying, synchronicities are often seen as a kind of guidance. I'm not quite sure exactly what I what I said, but you'll see it in the, in the screenshot that I'll include. So I was saying that synchronicities are often, some kind of, are often interpreted as some kind of guidance. Uh, and certainly in my life, um, at one point, well, for quite a long period of time, I was getting many, many synchronicities. And I viewed them as a kind of nudge, a guidance, a kind of... Uh, an acknowledgement that things were afoot. <laughs> One of the reasons I started this uh, this channel is because I want to be, talk a bit more openly about some of these things. So eventually uh, I'll be a little bit less cryptic. As we get to know each other, as we develop this bond, I'll be a little bit less cryptic um, and a bit more clear. In any case, about half an hour after I had left this message, this little post. I was thinking, ah, oh, I've got to do video number three. I've already done the music. I stayed up very late last night doing the music. Uh, I've put together the actual edited version of the music. I have to do this commentary, this introduction, this story, or this reading. So I thought I'll reach down to my, my little shelf, which is kind of here. I might even include a little screenshot of my shelf. And these are books that I keep very close to me, not uh, for various reasons that I might refer to them. They might be particular books that I actually really like. And so I keep them close. Uh, and I thought, oh, no, I'll, I'll pull out this book about karma and uh, try and find a paragraph or a quote or something from, from that for this video. So I reached down, grabbed hold of a book, pulled it out, and it wasn't the book that I had intended. It wasn't the book that I'd <laughs> looked at and had had. had uh, decided to pick, it was actually this book. I'll include a screenshot. This is called Synchronicity as Spiritual Guidance and it's uh, written by Mark Thurston, PhD. The subtitle is All of Life is Working Together to Leave You Little Hints. All of Life is Working Together to Leave You Little Hints. Now I, um, this is not a book that I have read all the way through the reason that I have it is because it, was, it belonged to a friend and she was getting rid of some books and I chose this one. The reason I chose it is because halfway through there is a particular section which deals with um, a certain interpretation of the I Ching. Uh, I find the I Ching very, very helpful, very useful and we, may, and we will certainly talk about that another time. Um, so I, I, I sometimes look at this just to uh, see what it says about particular hexagrams in the I Ching. I haven't actually read the first half of it, although I may now do that. 
But I thought it was interesting that, it, that uh, those of you who have experienced synchronicities even a few times and have taken them as what I think they are, which is a kind of nudge to start taking them seriously. <laughs> those of you who've done that will find, will hopefully find that story um, interesting. Okay, so with that, I, I, I invite you to close your eyes, if you wish to, to put your feet firmly on the floor, flat on the floor. Your hands can be palm up in your, on your thighs or they can be palm down or you can hold them, um, cradle them in your lap. Uh, you should sit up straight if you can and um, concentrate on your breathing. If you have thoughts coming, which they will, unless you're an absolute master, you will have thoughts coming. Um, don't try to uh, fight them, just acknowledge them and bring your attention back to your breathing. That's really the, the kind of key thing. Don't expect enlightenment. If that happens, that'd be great, let me know. <laughs> but um, yeah, let the music take you wherever you want to go. And uh, here we go.
and we're back. Okay, well, I hope, uh, if you're wondering what I keep looking at, that, that there's a w big window, my big window looks out at the sky. It looks out over treetops and rooftops and I can see a lot of sky, so I tend to do a lot of looking out of my window and thinking. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found it beneficial. I hope that you're relaxed and that you're uh, actually a little bit more in your body. Um, if you find it difficult to come back into your body after meditations, I think a really good idea is to have something to eat that will ground you. Um, and that's what I'm going to do now. So until next time, um, oh, by the way, please subscribe. It really, really helps. And please give me some feedback. I've already had some. Feedback is great. Questions, comments, all that kind of stuff. It's really, really helpful. And in leaving, I hope that you are well. I hope that your family is well. I hope that your loved ones are well. Your tribe, your nation, and the whole of creation is and stays well. Okay, see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.